Hello and welcome to Xena Warrior Podcast Vidisodes. My name is Vera and I'm joined as always by my two outdoorsy co-hosts, <laughs> Katie. Hello. And Libby. Hi. Definitely outdoorsy. We were for the weekend that we're going to talk about. It is always a struggle for us to be our outdoorsy, but... <laughs> we are city gals. Yeah, city, the most city of gals. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we are going to be discussing one of our favorite uh, returning activities, which is going to Z-Night Retreat. Z-Night Retreat, finally. <laughs> yeah, previously. It's been 84 years. <laughs> yes, exactly. Literally. Basically. basically. Um, yeah, previously we were Z-Night Retreat attendees in 2018. Wow. What, 2018? Yup. Oh my God. That's a long time ago. <laughs> it sure is. <laughs> And uh, that's when we recorded uh, a live episode, Them Bones, Them Bones. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Good times. We had our friend Alti there. The oh, skeleton. the bones. The bones. <laughs> the bones right. were there. Yes, yes, yes. Steve Sears was there for one minute. He and left. Then left. <laughs> He walked out of the room. But Adrienne Wilkinson was there. Adrienne Wilkinson was there. She stayed. <laughs> she stayed. That's very Adrian. Yeah. Yeah, so... We have a whole episode um, kind of talking about our experience in 2018, um, and then, of course, our live, actual live episode, and then we were like, okay, we're going to not go in 2019 for whatever reason, I don't remember why, and then we were like, okay, we have super FOMO, and we're going to go in 2020, and then nobody could go anywhere in 2020, mm -hmm. and then it wasn't around in 2021 mm -mm. because nobody could go anywhere <laughs> in 2021 mm -hmm. and then finally in 2022 it's back we're back baby <laughs> only four years later i know it's pretty wild but we're very very happy to report that it did occur <laughs> <laughs> and so this is our experience at do -do 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 retreat 2022 <laughs> So, um, the so yeah, retreat in, in this modern world of ours, it's, it was, a, you know, obviously different than how it was for many reasons. Um, a lot more outdoors activities versus and indoors. it's very outdoorsy. It's in outdoorsy general. in general. However, yeah. it takes place at a summer camp for those of you who didn't oh, right. listen exactly. to mm -hmm. our previous <laughs> episode on this topic. But there are no yeah, kids. Yeah, this is not a con in hotels. This is outside. I would say it's almost glamping. Mm. I think we did call we, it glamping we, we, before. We've never been glamping. No, so we're that's not true. So we don't know what that sure is. Sure, what it's like. But this is our idea. The cabins remain very nice. Yes, <clears> and um, I, I guess we looked out with some some good cabins that had good showers because yeah. uh, we had some cutthroats uh, showering in our showers. <laughs> <laughs> all right, theirs was not that good. I'm uh, sure <laughs> all the showers are great. <laughs> well, the showers in Club Banyo are the best. It yes. seems. Yes. Put we'll, a pin in we'll Club Banyo. We'll be telling you more about Club Banyo. Oh. <laughs> So yeah, um, because of COVID, there were many precautions that were taken, many like kind of um, rejiggering of things. You had to do your tests beforehand um, in order to get on, on the Argo Express and, and whatnot. You know, and a lot of waivers to sign. But once you got through the paperwork and everything like that, you, you felt pretty secure once you were there. This time, I stayed awake on Argo Express. Wow, that's a huge accomplishment. Did? I did. I was, you know, Not I was on the way back. No, 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 nobody, no nobody was stayed awake. Nobody was on awake the on the way back. <laughs> <laughs> on the way back. <laughs> well, on the way there, there was um, a lot of new sort of activities that were happening for at least for me. Like for instance, uh, we met Jess, who is one of our listeners and hey, an amazing Jess. vidder. Sup, Jess. And so, you know, there was a lot of, there was some chit chat that was happening. Oh, okay. So I wasn't sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> but also, Amanda, who is now in Team Awesome, was leading a, a fun rivalry trivia game between the other bus. Because th there were so many people actually this time that there were two Argo Expresses. Ah, yes. um, there were 187 campers this year, which is wow. wild. And most of them were virgins. Yeah. To Zenite Retreat. <laughs> <laughs> to be good, clear. Good clarification. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, and um, which all, is incredible. Yeah. Yes, and all of them were there because of us. Yeah, every single one. Every single virgin who arrived, <laughs> listened to our no. episode, and was like, "Yes." So it's amazing that there were so many uh, noobs there, and honestly, part of my thing for for this year was like trying to make them all like any new newbie who I met I was trying to be like oh my god I'm such a pro at Zena Retreat <laughs> like this I is so you awesome under my wing. yeah I'm, I'm gonna totally make you feel comfortable and awesome and uh I think they did I mean I hope I hope they did you know I I and it's crazy because like I'm I'm very like introverted, but as the night retreat, we it, all are. <laughs> it, it comes out for anyone who isn't aware. <laughs> we're all quite shy. Yes, yes, that's why we hide behind microphones. I know, um, but you no, know, it's yeah. funny. I don't think about how it goes online, right? I, you I don't. I, don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> so yeah, it, it's 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 you're a different person. Uh, uh, a better person, I think, when you're at Dino Retreat. Yeah. Um, I'm the me I want to be. Oh, every that's day. Right. Oh. <laughs> Well, it was just like the best feeling to see people who were brand new to the Zenite Retreat experience who just like spread their wings and flew. Yeah. Like, well, so yes. many people just like, yes. yeah, just, you know, immediately like got it, entered into the spirit of the thing. Mm -hmm. And even if it wasn't immediate, seeing people who like slowly opened up yeah, and like, exactly. like had a great time by the end that was just that was so nice yeah it was really I mean I think we talked about this in 20 in our 2018 episode too it's just it like being at Zenit Retreat really kind of brings that out of you and we advocated for that back then and um I mean it sounds like it happened again for all these people uh who are new and and we're so happy for them because that's you know they experienced like the true retreat spirit there and you're also joking a little bit, but we were absolutely just bowled over by the amount of people who uh, came up to us and introduced themselves and told us that our episode about Zenite Retreat mm -hmm. is how they found out about it and, and basically led to them buying a ticket. Yep. Uh, so, I mean, that's just so cool. Yeah. We, you know, us taking even the littlest bit of responsibility for people coming yes. out there and discovering that amazing community of people. Yeah, I, I had so many emotions about it that I, I couldn't even express to, <laughs> to, to the, the people who so kindly came up to tell us that. And yeah, I can't even express it now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then um, our biggest sort of difference between then and now as attendees mm. is that, like, we were just true attendees this, yeah. this time. <laughs> no we, stress. We did not need didn't to... didn't have to do things. <laughs> yeah, we were just there to no have show. fun. Yeah, yeah and Which I was, if I recall correctly, was on the last day. It was on the last so day. we had to think about it the whole week. <laughs> we planned it, like, the whole weekend while we were there, in between, like, doing the leap of faith and, like, whatever else. <laughs> yeah, I remember and, having my computer, and we, like, sat out on the grass, like, literally scripting it, which yeah. we had to do because of the time constraints. It had That's to be, right. I think, like, 50 minutes long. Right. Yes, instead yeah. of the two hours we required. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Justice for that episode, Jeez. I guess. Yeah, I know, yeah. Sorry, them bones, them bones. People were like, oh, I can't wait for them bones, them bones, the two-hour experience. And then it's like, no. Well. <laughs> we certainly could have filled two hours. Oh, heck yeah. Um... So yeah, that was that was kind of a wild uh, difference, but um, and we did that very deliberately. We wanted to like, I mean, again, this was like the, originally we were planning to go in twenty twenty, which was, uh, you know, coming off of having just finished yeah. like friend in need, mm. and we sort of wanted like a victory lap of just like you know getting to like be yeah. like at Xena camp with friends mm -hmm, just mm -hmm. enjoying ourselves. In addition to the actual Greece victory lap. Yeah, yeah. We have <laughs> lots of victory laps. <laughs> we want several victory laps. We're technically still <laughs> on, on it. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Uh, so, so, yeah, I, I, I think for me personally, that was really nice. Like, I was just, like, enjoying hanging yeah. out. And I even gave myself permission because I, I really am just, like, not athletic at all. <laughs> so you may remember that I had all sorts of <laughs> <laughs> mishaps uh, in 2018. And I was like, this year I'm not doing anything. I'm not going to pretend I know how to do sports or high ropes or throwing oh a ball. Yeah. I'm just not. I'm going to sit around watching other people and cheering. Yeah, <laughs> And I did that and I enjoyed every second of it. We did some sports. 
<laughs> yes, we did. We'll get to, we'll get to it, in, it. <laughs> in a bit. But yeah, I was going to say that um, instead of like us doing a podcast, we had the the She Nerds Out podcast was there. Oh, yes. There. The, the Snap Ladies Very nice. were uh, recording. And um, actually, uh, I think they judged the, or they hosted the, the uh, Fantastic Contest. Mm-hmm. Cast yeah. contest. But yeah, they did a recording um, during the softball game. And I was like, oh my God, how, how is no. that going to work? And it actually sounded really awesome. Nice. Yeah, because you could hear the the playing the in the background. That's like cool. a little bit. It didn't disturb at all. All right, Mi- next time. Microphones we'll are awesome. We'll bring all our gear next time. <laughs> yeah. We're going to sit in the middle of uh, of dinner and just record. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, you know, we arrived on the Argo Express. And, oh, by the way, our bus won because our bus is awesome. That <laughs> trivia. <laughs> Weren't we, like, didn't we have, like, we had, like double, double the people? Double the amount of people. <laughs> yeah. 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 Very unfair. <laughs> and I know that um, you know, I actually thought the, the the route was very beautiful in the mountains. It was. Oh, it wasn't gorgeous. as scary as I remembered, actually. <laughs> Except on the way up, I was nervous. But then on the way back, I was not because it was less scary than I remembered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I liked it. I thought it was really yeah. The the you know you leave the sort of city and then you enter and this then like suddenly mountains, mountains, yeah. and kind weird. of weird little babbling amazing. streams and yeah, crazy looking trees. Beautiful. Yeah, um, rocks, just like uh, weird <gasps> rocks. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's how we describe nature. Yeah. <laughs> did you guys do the Jaeger shots when you arrived? I, I had a little bit. I did not this year. I think I'm the only one. <laughs> I don't think. Okay, I I okay. So retreat this time happened during Passover, and oh, I was like couldn't. observing for the, I don't know, two like couple couple days of it. And I was, like, not sure of Jaeger. I couldn't get a straight answer. I think it's fine, but, like, people were, like, even if it is kosher for Passover, why would you even have it? Because <laughs> it's gross. Which it's I do not, remember it being gross. It's not gross. Uh, it could have been some I, lovely I vodka shots. I apologize for that. I think that it... I, I feel like... Well, this is a real tangent. <laughs> <laughs> Jaeger, let's, let's get into but it. But I think that, like, you know, it had a reputation in mm. previous decades for, like, as being, being a party drink. Part, a party drink. And How it is it a party like, drink? It tastes like herbs. Like, you know... Be, it, well, that's what I'm saying. Nowadays, there's lots of liqueurs and, like, herbal stuff people really love and, like, stuff that tastes like that, which is a minty taste. It's minty. But you don't... So, like, if you, you don't like it, that. it tastes like toothpaste. If you yeah. do like it, it tastes minty, like a frenet or frenet or whatever the hell it's called, <laughs> however yeah. you pronounce it. Um, so I feel like it is actually a fancier booze than it reputation i feel like jaeger is probably trying to like rebrand for the modern times okay, but i don't well, know then, i haven't been paying attention well the retreat <laughs> has very classy jaeger uh little pours we wouldn't even call them shots because that makes it seem like the old jaeger with the partying all right this is more of a sipping jaeger. A si- yeah sipping jaeger it. it situation it's like a little it's like refreshing it has it like, like a toothpaste like, like, <laughs> like a mouthwash like oh yes but in a good way <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, I like it. Um, yeah, so uh, you arrive, you uh, sort of got your like welcome stuff, and then um, and then we were like sent to our cabins to. I mean, you're supposed to start. <laughs> I don't know. I heard you say centaur cabins. Oh, <laughs> the real Zena minds. There that, should be. Yeah, yeah. There was a centaur <laughs> and the costume I heard we contest. We had centaur cabins. Yes, you're sent to your cabin. <laughs> you're sent. To your centaur cabins. <laughs> and then I guess you're supposed to immediately jump into decorations. For those who haven't listened to our 2018 <laughs> podcast on this subject. Previously. If, if you go to Zenite Retreat, you will have your nation, which is your family, who you will defend with your life. Yes. yes. Or at the very least, you will help them decorate your cabins in the hopes of winning a prize. Yep. Yes. <laughs> I guess we should announce that this time there was a new nation. Mm-hmm. In 2018, we were a part of the Cutthroats, Callisto's Cutthroats, That's right. which we love. Here for blood. Here for blood. We're not last, but it, and we weren't last, I think, but we were uh, not first. I can't remember. <laughs> we weren't last. We were sure. Yes. Okay. Um, that was the point of the chat. Beautiful red, you know, color <laughs> representation. Yeah, you, you love a good red oh, outfit. I love Vera. the yeah. red. Oh. So this time we were a part of a new nation, uh, the new kid on the block, mm-hmm. <laughs> the immortals. Mm-hmm. 
which uh, also pretty cool color. It's just black. Yes, I love it. <laughs> we look really love cool and goth. I have so. Yes. I, thought it super I think it's the best, I gotta say. Yeah, <laughs> it fits with a lot of clothes that we own already. It was pretty bit brisk the first day, and I just had my yes, leather jacket on, and I was yes. like, this counts. <laughs> yes. it's still on theme. Kind yeah. of an Aries look. <laughs> yeah. Brisk is one way to put it. <laughs> It was oh, freezing it was cold. <laughs> it was like the coldest it's ever been, I think. Well, I don't think it's normal. It That's was not really normal. unseasonable. Yeah, like yeah. Unseasonable. 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 <laughs> that word sounds so weird. Yeah, yeah. Um, you had too much Jaeger. Yeah, but um, but then it was beautiful. It like yeah. rebounded yeah, to like 70 did. degrees. Yeah. But yeah. the first day we were there was the coldest day. Yeah. And um, so, uh, yeah, we were, so we were part of these, uh, the Immortals, Um which obviously are themed off of like the various gods mm-hmm. on uh, uh, Xena. On what? And uh, Xena. On Xena. <laughs> uh, Xena. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we had amazing planning. Uh, thanks oh to gosh. Lee. Lee. And oh, shout out to shout Lee. Out. It was like spectacular to behold. It came to life. We had amazing cabin decorations and like the greatest plan ever, which was to when, because. Once you sort of arrive and everyone's kind of settled a little bit, you go and and all the nations are like introduced. And we were Mm -hmm. pre-planned to be introduced last Mm because we were the newest nation. And we literally had a grand entrance. Oh, my God. That nobody knew about. No. Except for Penny and Team Awesome. Yeah. So the plan was to wear a toga Mm -hmm. and have a goblet Mm -hmm. and it had uh, rose petals in it. I spilled my rose petals. Before you actually Before went? I even got out there, I just, like, forgot I was holding this goblet and bent over. <laughs> oh my God. And the rose petals <laughs> hit the wind. So, um... Typical me. Yeah, so we were uh, going to go... We, we did go last, and we were announced, and uh, everybody kind of, like, marched in, uh, in their amazing lukes of togas and, and whatnot, and, um... We were also marching to, what is it, I Want to Live Forever? <laughs> but nobody could hear it because everybody was like, oh, my God, this looks so amazing. And uh, and then we posed uh-huh. and said our catchphrase, bow down, bow down, bitches. Yes. And threw the rose petals. And that was not a thing we discussed. And it was actually a problem <laughs> in a way oh, where the if you were standing oh, in front of someone was who was uh, <laughs> downwind of you. <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh. Then the rose petals went everywhere. Poor Vera. Um, so you this, were at the end of the line. You were downwind of everybody. I was downwind and I was in front. And therefore, I got, I don't know how much... How many, how, like, the rose petals were, like, not what you think, like, not from the movies. They were, like, crushed little, little dry, 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 dry rose, petals. rose petals. It wasn't, like, real. Yeah. It was, yeah. No, they, I mean, were, they were real, but they, but they were, were like, dry, they crushed. They like, smelled little, very nice. Yeah, yeah they smelled, smelled super awesome. But it's not like, like I said, like, the rose petals, like, from, from your we, Valentine's Day. It would be impossible <laughs> yeah. and expensive. Yes, exactly. So, <laughs> um, so even though it was, like, 45 degrees or whatever, and therefore you had, like, your hoodie on. Well, I had a hoodie on I underneath didn't. my toga. I was wearing just my toga. You're hardcore. Sleeve. You're you. That's hardcore. I had so much clothes on. Uh, the hoodie, the uh, big scarf around me, then the toga. And then what happened? And yet somehow, the rose petals went like. Well, they went down my shirt. Yeah. And then later, I discovered they yeah. went all the way. <laughs> <laughs> all the way. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, crazy. they were in my underwear, guys. That's amazing. <laughs> and I don't know how that don't, got there. How did that even happen? I don't know. Like, that was pants? shocking. Yes, I was wearing pants. <laughs> I was wearing pants, a t-shirt, <laughs> then a hoodie, then a scarf, then the toga, <laughs> then the sash. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was so many layers. I don't understand that. They traveled, mm. and uh, it was it was literally shocking. <laughs> so yeah, but anyway. but it looked amazing. Yeah, it looked, really it looked cool. amazing. So uh, yeah, and just it was awesome that everybody showed up for that and like yeah. had something like mm-hmm. we, we yeah we all fit the theme. We did. Um, so we we made an amazing like strong like first impression, and then after that that it was a nation olympics uh there was like potato sack races Mm -hmm. that went on i watched those Uh, there was supposed to be like four rounds of it but i think they only did two because it was very competitively intense um Mm -hmm. 
And uh, and then our beloved Zug Zug from 2018 was not present because um, I guess you can't like social distancing r- wrap Wouldn't yourself around uh, someone and, and zug that balloon <laughs> from their butts. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, Maybe not. Not not good for for Can you nowadays. Imagine if, you, if someone was like, "How'd you catch COVID?" And you're like, zug-ing, "Oh, from, zug-ing. from some zug zug, you know." <laughs> so yeah, we had a, a much more socially distanced baby toss. That was fun. That was so great. So we did win. We did win. That and was why it was extra fun. <laughs> it was really shocking that we did, but we did, and that was amazing. So um, uh, a little. Baby uh, doll was tossed around. Um, it's like Zena likes to do that. Yes, of course. And then the you know they added challenges. There were three babies going at once. Just tossing those babies. <laughs> that was, Juggle that those was babies. Crazy. I was really very confused. <laughs> it was very hard. There were like rules. Yeah. Well, we created. A, oh yeah, the, for the game. Yes, yes, there were. But uh, you know, we we managed to navigate the the baby toss quite well. Um, and we did win, so that and was And it brought amazing. our nation closer together. We, I mean, once you <laughs> yes. toss a baby or three, mm-hmm. you know, you, of course. Um, yeah, so that was, like, the activities of sort of, like, the morning, midday. Then, you know, there was lunchtime, and, again, the food, shout out, so good. Um, what did we do afterwards? I think then we went back to our cabins and decorated... Oh my god, right, because we were decorating until basically we had to take it down, right? Yeah, we, yeah it was a work in progress. <laughs> no, it was so good. But it was so elaborate. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Like, uh, there was so much. Yeah, we had these amazing columns that Abby and I put together. Shout out to Abby, who was like, like really understood how to fold columns in a way that oh, I did not. Oh my god. <laughs> Wasn't it like in the instructions it was like 20 minutes and it you looked, guys were doing it for like two hours? It looked very elaborate. It, they were definitely like Ikea instructions. <laughs> so there was a lot of like interpretation that had to happen. Yeah. Oh my goodness. They looked great. Yeah. Uh, we had like bowls of fruit, like um, a shrine to Aphrodite was mm. kind of the overarching theme. Yes. Yeah. We also had like a shitty fucked up area for Tartarus that was out by the tents. Oh yeah, because there were uh, people could sleep in tents this this time, and also yurts. Yurt, yeah. or I should say yurt. Yes. So that was new. Um, but yeah, the tents was pretty amazing because people did decorate their tents, like there were like lights and stuff. And then yeah, for us, uh, anybody who from the Immortals was in a tent. They were in Tartarus. There were like also these Capri Suns that were uh, that had like God stickers instead of like the Capri Sun logo. It was it was so cool. Buckeye blast. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, it was really really neat. All right, so then there was uh, so we did that for like hours, and then <laughs> it looked great. You gotta yeah. work hard. Yeah, and it looked amazing at night too. There was like a daytime so Luke and a nighttime lights. Luke. Yeah, yeah, so awesome. Um, and then. Dinner, amazing food again, and then <laughs> You're gonna say uh, that every yeah, time meal. the the food was supposed to be a, a cute. Well, it was you know ninety percent of it was supposed to be like a uh, a journey through Xena, like the world of Xena. So like mm, it started with through like food, yeah, through yeah. food, like like a little way, like not entirely because we didn't end on like Japanese <laughs> cuisine or anything. Gotcha. But you know, it was like it started with like Greek lunch, and then there was like a. Like an India lunch or dinner, I forget. Um, and just like various little, little things, but other things nice. also were there. Not After sure. dinner, was there a baked potato bar? How does that fit in? So it doesn't fit in. Now it's just like Mexican <laughs> themed food, <Right. laughs> and like our steak dinner. The Mexican but was really good. It was really yeah. good. Yeah. Um, okay, so after feeding us, uh, we were going to back to the amphitheater area where the. The night's entertainment was commencing, which was Friday Night Live, a.k.a. It's like Saturday Night Live, but Friday, because it was on Friday. Oh, my God. Did you just understand just, that? Just, yeah. <laughs> the penny dropped no. a few weeks late. Wait, no. no penny I, was there. She didn't drop anything. <laughs> now you're making it sound like I wasn't joking. <laughs> <laughs> certainly was. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, good. So it was... Uh, Fun sketches and and various performances that um, people did. I really, really like. I mean, everything was super entertaining. But I I want to shout out the Cutthroats because their thing made literally made me laugh like so much. Yeah, the sketch, sketch. They, yeah the sketch. they apparently wrote it that day. You honestly you would never know. Be able to tell. Like they were all on the same page. Like their comic timing was excellent. Like it was like yeah. a delight. 
Yeah, and and uh, already like I'm, you know, I'm putting it out there. I already told some cutthroats IRL uh, like Anna um, that as a former cutthroat, like my heart was filled with joy at at, at how much they brought it. Oh this yeah, time. you know, the decorations were on their cabins were insane. Like there was like such amazing art. Did you stained did you guys glass. see the stained glass? Yeah, art. yeah, it was yeah. beautiful. That was so yeah. gorgeous. And anime banners. Yeah, there was like fire everywhere. Oh my yeah. god, it was so there good. Was, there was like an Instagram bubble <laughs> area. Yeah, with angel wings. Yeah, yeah, that was not what was happening when we were <laughs> cut <those. laughs> So it was it was a joy to behold, and and I was really proud and of cool it. Yeah, oh god, yeah, they all have these magic hats. I wanted one. I know. You (laughs) can't get one. You're not some good swag. We had fucking laurels. We did have laurels. No, I wish I had worn them them all weekend. It's true. I would have, but they looked ugly on me. No, they did not. not. (laughs) Um, All right, so yeah, we had some pretty cool, cool stuff. Maybe, maybe next time we could do laurels on hats or something. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, All right, so um, after Friday Night Live, it was Jacqueline Kim. Jacqueline Kim performed. Uh, She was the guest, one of the guests. uh, There was this like ultra spooky wind thing oh my god that yeah. happened during Jacqueline fun. Kim like apparently Jacqueline Kim can control the wind hmm. that yeah, yeah no it did happen um you know she she did like a set that was like really intense and she writes her own music so she was like performing it and it was like all kind of very kind of like low key like little guitarish kind of atmospheric atmospheric yeah, yeah yeah and um and it was like you know pitch black you could hear the frogs going uh, the stars were out. We had the, thankfully, the fire pit was really oh God, going it was at so it. Cold, we would yeah. have died without this that fire not, pit. It was not normal. It was It very was like cold. 40 <laughs> degrees out at that point. My hands got ruined. It was messed up how cold <laughs> it was that night. So, um, <clears throat> but like, you know, you were just huddled there together watching this. And then like, yeah, the spooky wind yeah. occurred. Yeah, it was very memorable. And you, there are these towering trees around the amphitheater. And the just, you know, you would look around and just see this almost like cathedral of leaves yeah. all blowing. It was yeah. literally like all the hairs on my body stood up. Because like, you were freezing. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it had something to do with it. But it was definitely like a memorable moment of retreat. Yeah. yeah. And then after Jacqueline Kim, there was uh, a performance by Hey King. Yes! Which was so fucking awesome. <gasps> They're incredible. Yeah, I guess Hey King performed, I want to say in 2019. Like, we weren't there. The year okay. We weren't there. And so we were so lucky to see this amazing yes. performance. Amazing. We loved them. That was my favorite part. Oh my of God. The weekend, I seriously sure. stand. I stand. I, I mean, I loved many parts of the weekend, but that was. Yeah, no, it was a awesome. I uh, got the vinyl. Oh, that, yeah? Yeah. That's so cool. I got a t-shirt. <laughs> not, not as well, I also need a new record player. Mine's a little... Well, we we love taking and we got to hang out a little bit with the, with them and it was... They're, they're and awesome. they also were there as campers, which yes. I thought was super cool. Yeah, yeah. totally, totally. Um, so then after that, it was time for Howl at the Moon, which we did not do this did not year do this because year. specifically I think the 40 degree weather the really logo. played a, a, a role <laughs> in, yeah. in undressing. Uh, but having already done it, I felt good yeah, about it. Yeah, I felt that. good about it. And so. yes. <laughs> and I took on the role again of being like, hey, if you're a virgin, do it. You need to do it. And so we definitely made some people strip and uh, <laughs> they got blue and it was awesome. Shout out to Bird. Ah, uh, Bird. <laughs> yeah. And then Bird got us a little blue. <laughs> I know. I had a little blue to yeah. remember bird by. But um, seriously, though, the greatest part about Howl of the Moon this time was that the paint was uh, washable. Ah. That was <laughs> fucking amazing and very Game different. Changer. Game changer paint. <laughs> How did <laughs> like, it come off before? It didn't. It didn't? <laughs> no, it did. I what, still what have it? a sports bra with some blue paint on it. Oh, clothes. Yeah, on clothes. On clothes. Okay. Yeah. So, like, yeah, I got, like, blue all over my, oh, like, pants and jacket and stuff. Okay. And it, it totally came off. It was amazing. Nice. Yeah. Um, well, um, props to everybody who did it for seriously, real. Seriously, props yeah. to everyone who did degrees. it. 40 degrees. Yeah. It was, it was, uh, 
it was always it's always a sight to behold. You are around the fire, so and there were like, yeah. So I feel like maybe if you were closer up to the fire, yeah, it yeah, no, it, it always helps. It was doable. The fire yeah. helps and does wonders. And the adrenaline and yes. the alcohol, they yes. yes. yeah. all yeah, the yeah, things, yeah, yeah, all yeah, the necessary yeah. things. Um, and then after that was a dance contest, which I don't remember from. Tw- I don't. I remember people yeah, dancing. Yeah, we, no, there we was there. a dance, but contest. I don't remember it being a contest. Amanda won the dance contest her first year. All right, I'm, well. I'm impressed I know these things that yeah, you don't know. I don't. I, do, I remember 2018. I just remember. I remember Amanda dancing and I remember Melanie dancing. But I don't remember. I thought it was just like optional. Because I guess we were just too busy like being around the fire and howling. I think we were out. Yeah, we were howling our <laughs> we lungs out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it was like a whole to do. And um, you got points for participating. So I signed up because I was like, whatever, it's late. Nobody cares. I can do a stupid thing. I'm not going to win, but I get a point for participating. Yes. So Participation trophy. Yeah. Holla. So um, I signed up and uh, uh, Bird and I were actually like partners and we totally should have won with our <laughs> impromptu ridiculous dance. But I guess it wasn't cool enough. Can you describe your dance for the listeners? No. I mean, it <laughs> It was, uh, we did yes, not, you can. we didn't yes, discuss you can. it anyway. It was just kind of like. You did it traditional Russian oh, folk yes, dance. Oh, yes, I did it. Zero. I did it Russian folk dance. I, I fell over at one point. Um, uh, and it was, yeah, it was definitely, me dropping things or falling over was definitely always part of my act. Um, and uh, it was just like the idea, our thing was like, let's have fun and like be silly and like not sexy. We were doing opposite of sexy because that's tailoring to at least my strength. So um, we got points. For, Some know, people might be turned on by a traditional Russian <laughs> folk dance. I can't speak for all people that way. Uh, yeah. So, um, Bird, we definitely should have won. I mean, seriously, we should have. <laughs> so that was super fun. And um, again, Cutthroat's won. Yeah. Yep, yep, like, yep. Super rocked it. And total winner. There, yeah. Uh, I think that wraps up, like, the, the first night. I mean, night a- one. after that, you know, shenanigans occurred, of course, nighttime activities and whatnot. Um, was Club Banyo set up then? Or no? I don't think so. I think Club okay, Banyo... Okay, still still keeping it a mystery. Waiting in the wings. Put a pin in yeah. it. The pin stays. <laughs> um, okay, so Saturday, uh, there was like the 6 a.m. hike, which again, we never Whoa, do because... Too early. Someday. It's just so... It takes two we hours. We hear amazing things about the grounds. You know, you climb we up You saw amazing mountains. photos. Yeah. Too there's early. There's the waterfall hike. Mm-hmm. It's just <laughs> so beautiful, but like... We can't. Yeah. We cannot literally do cannot. that. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We like, you know, make ourselves roll out of bed and uh, go get the coffee immediately. Yeah, drag ourselves off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. After that, what what Did went we down on Saturday? Refresh? I think yeah. we took our walk. Oh, I like going for walks. That was nice. Oh, that was our mini hike. Yeah, it was like our yeah. own hike. We, but yeah, not we, at the we did. We did our walk. Yeah. So I don't think we've ever like previously strayed beyond kind of like the archery area and this was like on the walk we did it this time we went further than we've gone before (laughs) it goes to like a dirt bike area i guess so and yeah like uh we went with jess with frey and ariel and it was really amazing talked fandom things and we had to cross a creek at one point oh that that was was dramatic (laughs) it was very exciting we were like okay how do we build a boat like what do we do for the river how do we get the bridge going and then you know you just kind of like jump over it it's fine (laughs) that was fun uh, this year there were, I think, a repeat from 2019 escape room set oh, yeah. up or an escape room in one of the yurts. And, uh, it seemed hard. People were not yes. escaping. As far as I know, nobody escaped. Nobody escaped. <laughs> it was, I guess, too hard. <laughs> we didn't do it. but Well, we tried, we but did. shenanigans, shenanigans occurred and, shenanigans. and we missed our opportunity. From, from speaking to the people who did it, the main problem seemed to be that the group's uh, going, it was quite popular. So the groups going into the escape room were quite large, ten, even fifteen people. Well, so that's too many. With people. that many people trying to chaos. solve puzzles at once, <laughs> yeah, it was it was apparently just too chaotic. Gotcha. Yeah. No, well, yeah, it seems fun, but yes, we did not get. Everyone to do it yet. had a good time. <laughs> so next time, I guess um, so. Yeah. Yeah, and after that, uh, one of the special guests uh, did a a talk, Catherine Fuget. We were excited to see Catherine Puget. We were, because we're like nerds who are like, oh my God, she wrote 
Georgina. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, yeah, we're good. all about the writers and directors. That's who we're like, ooh, can't wait to yeah. see what they're like. Well, but granted, she wrote a really, really amazing episode. Yeah. And she just seems like a really fascinating human, yeah. which I, I'm pretty sure we said when we recorded our yeah. When Fates Collide podcast. And oh, she... Like, yeah, I was going to say, mention the episode. Yeah. yeah that one. She so good. proved uh, she proved that for sure. I I left a stan, if, even if I wasn't one before. Yeah, very cool. I love her person. She yeah. told lots of stories about her experience on Xena, but also uh, just talked about like her general like worldview when it comes to like queer media, yeah. which is amazing like it's just so reassuring to hear someone who's very you know she's such an insider like yeah. um like you know she's a hollywood person but she cares deeply about seeing like good representations of queer characters mm-hmm. and uh was still dealing with her bruised feelings about uh killing eve i guess yeah. no spoilers but it didn't <laughs> end well you guys uh and and uh Catherine felt so strongly about that that she actually wrote to the showrunners mm-hmm. basically to complain yeah. or, or i mean really to advise them like not to do it because she yeah. she is so with it that she picked up on the fact that this is probably where the show was going like in advance and mm-hmm. tried to warn them, like, to do anything else. They could have done it good, Yeah, I think. Not they, to, they did I'm bad. not devil's advocating. I'm just saying, like, if any show could have done it, they could have done it good, but it seems like they did it bad. They did and it And also that the, really the books bad. end nice, yeah. so why not end the show nice? But I think yeah. if any show was going to get away with it, it could have, but they really seem to have stepped in it. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. But yeah, it was super cathartic and just, I don't know, like I as a fan always feel very like alone in those moments. You're like, well, nobody's really listening to us. Yeah, the internet is screaming and you get a few people kind of tossing us a bone being like, oh, we're sorry. But you don't feel like there's anybody like inside Hollywood who's actually speaking up and saying, hey, this is terrible storytelling. Maybe you need to think twice before you do this. Uh, so to hear Catherine talk about her experience, like being that voice, like uh, yeah. was just so exciting. But I mean, like even I mean, she went into other things. Like she talked about, um, like she brought up Supergirl. Like she watched Supergirl, and and she just talked about like what we I loved that ourselves yeah. kind of pick up on, which is the the organic nature of including Ka- Katie McGrath in in the cast, right? So like she wasn't supposed to be there for long. She was awesome. She was inspiring. She was yeah. their muse. <laughs> and she was awesome. And they were like, let's keep her. And then suddenly uh, something started happening, which is like, uh-oh. Like, A there's gay some, muse. <laughs> there's some chemistry going on here between her and Melissa Benoist. And like, what's happening? And instead of um, kind of like rolling with it, which is kind of like what, you know, of course. Literally on, what happened on, on Zena. Zena. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Instead of rolling with it, they like, uh-oh, uh, let's uh, back away from this. And um, uh, she also, I mean, I think she said, Catherine said that she knows like the showrunners. Yeah, there, there too. And, I, I believe she got like, in touch with them. Yeah. And- but she like like literally knows them, I think. Yeah. So they heard some stuff about like, you know, they said that they tried it or whatever. They thought about it and then like, you know, did it. And then she com- she like very verbally like to us, uh, the audience of this talk, um, like disagreed with, with that. Like it's, that's wrong. And talked about her own show. She show ran uh, Army Wives and like talked about how like organic stuff like that happens and you're, you're just like supposed to go with it like you're supposed to go it with it makes where, a better show yeah exactly Don't work against the current yes, yeah yes um so it was just it was literally not what i was expecting you know i mean obviously she talked about uh her episode when fates collide and um you know great insight like she was allowed to do things because rob was busy and <laughs> rj was busy and like you know that thing where it was magical because nobody, nobody was controlling her no. yeah. <laughs> like she didn't get rewritten yeah they yeah. were they were working on the finale at the time so like she had free reign there and um you know she made one of the best episodes of xena yeah. uh, so it, it, it was really good and i got to ask her a question about her episode or her yeah episode of uh, house hunters international and she's like a five foot like two lady and and i mean i'm not tall either i'm like five three or whatever but like she seemed so so much shorter than me but at the same time like so intense like she did a funny thing where she just like kind of walked towards me and I had to like run away (laughs) from her (laughs) and um yeah it was a lot (laughs) 
Yeah, she was she was in many ways my favorite guest. She like, was just so yeah. unexpected. Well, yeah, and then you also talked to we her. We did talk to her a about, lot so. further. Um, I guess we'll mention that when we get to it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, no, we well, can say we tracked well, her down we, later. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's it's no, it just happened to yeah. be there. We That's went to true. the there art was no hut. Tracking that we happened. went to the art hut and uh, we wanted to do stuff there. Um, the stuff was being used, you know, art, art supplies were being used, and uh, Catherine Pichet was there, and we were like, hey. Oh, I actually just, like, genuinely wanted to thank her for being so open, and that kind of, like, and she's just, like, very talkative, and that's kind of, like, a plus, where she just was like, cool, let's chat some more, and, like, went on, and uh, in, into even, like, further detail about these things. Um, and for those of you listening who haven't been to Zenai Retreat, don't really know what it's like, this is one of the coolest things about it, is just, you know, people are there. People are hanging out. So, yeah. like, you know, if, if you feel like being brave but also really chill, yeah. uh, you can go in and just mm-hmm. have a really nice conversation with yeah. somebody involved in Zena. For yeah. sure. I mean, like, yeah, we were, like, at the High Ropes course, um you know, doing our due diligence of, like, cheering people on who haven't yeah. done the leap of faith. Not doing it. Not doing it, but, like, cheering, cheering everyone. Out. Confronting my bully. <laughs> 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 yeah, we had some we had some good uh, good times where um, I think we, we cheered and made sure, like, Abby, uh, one of our bunkmates, did it. Um, and Frey. And Frey. Like, we were like, yeah, you got to do it. You got to do it. And then, you know, I think they were happy about it, like, once they did it. And also, all, bo- like, both of them, so chill compared to like me trying to do it. Like, nobody was freaking out. <laughs> we all out. had meltdowns. Like how yeah, I so did not. Chill. Yeah, Katie was fine. Oh, I don't get. I don't get that. I don't understand this. Um, but yeah, so like you know, while there, you know, like Jacqueline Kim, like kind of like slinked up and was like, you know, very quietly being like holding the ladder for for people like to climb the leap of faith and yeah. um, just being there and. I was like, hey, did you do the leap of faith? And she was like, yes. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean, re- retreat kind of like, that, that's a really good opportunity to just chat with people if you really want to. All right, so um, we went to the archery contest and we, we were going to sign up. And um, Oh, my God, you guys. Katie is like a secret... Huh? Archer. <laughs> yeah. An archery genius. Not during the contest. No. No, you really only discovered your powers later. Yeah. But it is like a legit thing. She like has That's has fun. the eye. <laughs> the eye. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we went to the archery contest, but uh there was a scheduling conflict Uh-oh. with the costume contest and um I'm was participating because wow. again participation for points. You. you like you love those points. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that was your tagline for retreat this year: participation points. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and so that, so we uh, kindly asked to skip the line to like sign up for the archery contest for the participation points, um, and then kind of bounce to go to the cast because I had yeah. like lovely people who were supporting me. Mm-hmm. So um, us and uh, Mora are another awesome bunkmate of ours. Um, who is just really cool and like had an amazing um, self made costume of like pirate Xena. Like, Mara's costume was my favorite. Off the charts. And she like sourced all the coins yeah. from places because, you know, Xena's costume is made of money. Yeah. And like, it, it was hot it. Was it. Glorious. <laughs> definitely it, one of my favorites. It faves. was so cool. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely should have won. Um, <laughs> I was trying not to be salty, but no, okay. Yeah. Like, for real. <laughs> But yeah, so we, we quickly did our little archery uh, sesh, um, just like one one arrow, I think. Nobody, none of us got the apple, um, and then bounced for the for the costume contest. Um, costume contest was really cool. I did not, I don't even remember seeing it like in twenty eighteen. I definitely yeah, wasn't part yeah, of it. Yeah, it definitely happened. I remember it. Well, it was uh, different from being in it it was I bet. really cool uh i played i played <laughs> i was i embodied uh hades hades number two um in his like red robe which i'm obsessed with um i thought that was pretty easy i feel costume. like you did that whole costume just because you really wanted to wear that robe uh it was amazing and it was like stunning under the sunlight yeah it looked, it looked great <laughs> it looked it looked fucking great. Hot. <laughs> my uh my whole thing was like he's like a a pimp 
character. No, like, definitely. It was very, like, pimpy. You, like, swaggered out yeah, there. I yeah, I swaggered out there. It was, I was going to give Skittles to the host to, like, be, like, come live with me for six months. The She Nerds Out yeah. podcast. Yeah, and uh, they dropped. They they fell everywhere because it was wearing a leather glove and going to your pocket to dig out Don't Skittles. try it. Don't try this at home, kids. Didn't work out that well. <laughs> but, yeah, there were some great costumes. There were, like, crazy homemade, like, ravens for like the valkyrie yeah that was really and, cool um just, massive yeah. just really cool like everybody did really really well and uh, the winners were the the ladies from married with i Christmas. love that <laughs> yeah i mean they look they looked great <laughs> they were awesome they i, I mean I, in some ways i like coveted it because you know there are three of them and i yeah. was like that obviously should have been our podcast I mean, costume. yeah but that the way that no we couldn't we, couldn't we have never pulled could it have off. pulled that yeah. off <laughs> 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 so uh they 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 rocked it and of course married with fish sticks is our you know favorite episode so it was nice um all right so the uh nighttime entertainment for saturday was a um i guess west coast debut of xeno warrior musical which is um an amazing original musical yeah. based on xeno warrior princess yep Really cool, guys. I didn't and know. And you guys aren't musical people. Right. So the yeah. fact that you enjoyed it. Yeah, that, that was a really a big deal. Maybe so, like, like musical it, and it was, you know, I obviously, like, it's meant to be, like, a full staged production, but I really loved the, like, the the way that it was, which is, like, you know, people. Concert the, the, style. Yeah, concert style yeah. actors. And then they, like, kind of, like, read, you know, like, the descriptions were, like, acted out, like, funny. Yeah. And, and It was really, really fun. The actors were fantastic. Really they great. were so talented. Yeah. Really, really great. Um, and, and just, like, yeah, shocking again for me, who does not like musicals. <laughs> so I found that really, really cool. Um, the actor who, like, it's kind of impossible to believe, but the actor playing Jocker. Yes, 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 my favorite. Like, such a standout. Yes. Like, he was such a star, and I feel like the way Jocker was written in the musical, he's so much better, like, better <laughs> as a character. You know, all the, like, toxic character <laughs> traits have been ironed out, so he's just, like really funny and sweet yeah and and it worked so well and 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 the actor just really brought that to life and he was also like like swapping back and forth between being Jaxer and being like the the goon the, the head goon the head goon man and uh and and that switch you know sometimes in the same scene he was playing both characters <laughs> and he he made that just so seamless i yeah. loved head goon he was literally my favorite <laughs> <laughs> he was so good you all you you have a soft spot I for do. goons yeah I yeah do. <laughs> uh but i also thought the the actress playing Zena was just yeah. kind of uncanny. Everybody laughed at me because I think I like I literally sometimes like saw and heard Lucy Lawless and like <laughs> maybe that was just the Ramchata speaking, but <laughs> I really did. Uh, yeah. Yes, um, I loved Aphrodite as well. She, oh yeah, she was she, really she was fabulous. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they were all really nice. Um, you can listen to this, yes, on I think band, that's on Bandcamp. Bandcamp? Yeah. If you are yeah. interested. So, yeah, Megan Luce. It's who, not the same people that we saw um, in oh, the not? recording, but. Oh, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think know. So. Um, okay, well, these I are. I don't think so. Great. But I'm I sure it's great as well. Wrong. I could be so wrong. Well, about if that. you listen to it <laughs> and you love it, then that's great. And you love those actors. So, uh,. Megan Luz uh, did a really great job with, with this musical. And I thought the whole production and, and the way it was set up at Z Night Retreat just worked really well. Like, I think everybody had a great time. Yeah. And, like, it felt just, like, legit. I was like, sure. wow, if I paid money to see this. I know. Oh, yeah. Well, there was, like, a step this and repeat. feels like I went yeah. to a play. There was, yeah. like, reactions. There was, like, a, almost like a paparazzi yeah, <laughs> like situation yeah. with the step and repeat. Um, I missed a little bit of towards the end because Amanda realized she lost her phone. So we went on a, on a big, like, yeah. hunting trip for the phone. I love that you're shaming Amanda yes. for losing her phone yes. on here. Yes, yes, because um, we spent, like, at a, a certain point, we were, like, with our phone flashlights. It took like, you all way too long to figure out how to find it. Yes, it was, sh- yes. Find my phone. And it was showing up near the <laughs> near near where the musical was going, and it's like, where is it? So we kept going with like as, as if you're searching, you know, for a missing person, like in lo- in a line, like looking for things. <laughs> I like kind of feel like that, and, yeah, and the it, search line. And she just 
took her jacket off and put it behind the step and repeat, and uh, that's where the phone was. Well, that it was found. Yeah. Sorry, you missed some. Mm-hmm. All's well that ends well. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Um, yeah, and I think Saturday night was the debut of Club Banio. Uh-huh. While we did not really like go in it, but we should explain Club Banio, which has become a staple of Zenit Retreat. It in is 2019. It's exactly what it sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's a, club, a nightclub that is in a bathroom. This bathroom is like recently renovated, and it's one of, in many ways, one of the nicest yeah. spaces. <laughs> it really was. Yeah. It was. Yeah, very nice bathroom. Um, and you know, especially like late at night when you're trying not to disturb people, it's a great option for where you can set up a nightclub. <laughs> So, well, it, it was just like kind of people hanging out with some music, I think, in uh, 2019. Back in 2019, very, and, very uh, minimalistic. And this time it was literally decked out it with like, like a disco, like a disco ball and like <laughs> night lights and, and various, various uh, accoutrements of, of an actual club. And then just like magic at, in the morning, it was all gone. It's gone. Just, gone. And, and the funniest thing about Clubanio is it's still a working bathroom. Mm-hmm. So like people can come in and use the bathroom and yes. just suddenly find themselves in a nightclub. Right. So like the 2019 anecdotes is like people came in using the bathroom and they would sing, push it real good. At them. <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I have wondered if, you know, Clubanio has almost become so famous now, like among <laughs> Z-Nights, that it's Too like big. nobody's having that experience of walking into the bathroom bathroom and being surprised no because yeah yeah <laughs> like, it's, it's i think there's a party in here <laughs> yeah i think uh catherine fuget was upset that um and she, the snap girls were upset that they didn't get an invite to club banya but club I, like you don't need to be invited you just go yeah, yeah. just go, to, just the go to the bathroom and, and you will, you find will. It. yes exactly <laughs> um all right so not on the schedule it's not yes it's like if you <laughs> it's know like you know the after party exactly <laughs> Uh, on Sunday, those who went to Club Banyo had a in. Hard, hard time getting up, I think. <laughs> Probably. Uh, softball. Softball was like, yeah, they had to rally because a lot of people, you know, softball is like a big thing for yeah. for Z-Night That's Retreat. That's a um, holdover from yeah. the original con. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, so uh, I think uh, people played it. Yeah. And you you saw it. I watched it. It, it was fun. Yeah. Yeah. We we watched a little bit of it, but then like yeah, we went to the art hut and, and got stuck to, to Ka- 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 yeah. uh, stuck talking to Ka- not, not stuck not stuck at all. Not stuck at all. We were stuck like, on her. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but you could not return to watch this. No, all. I was like kind of. But doing, it seemed like, like a really good game this year. Good yeah. like, tournament, rather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was and, I was like watching it from afar. Again. Yeah, cutthroat. I mean, cutthroat. Well, it's separate. The team the versus is like right. the name league. Oh, that's are, true. Yeah, that's it's, it's confusing. The cutthroats yeah. are not the cutthroats. Yeah, even confusing. though they consist of a lot of actual <laughs> cutthroats. There are quite a few them. actual cutthroats. Yeah, the they cutthroats. were on that team. Um, but I was really happy for everybody playing and and getting dirty. You know, to quote a league of their own. Uh, <laughs> So it was, it was, oh, it's always a good time to watch. Yeah. <laughs> There's also a volleyball tournament yep, that day. More, the, like more Sunday's the day of all the hot. athletics. All the sports. Like all the day. sports happening. Yeah. So the volleyball, good, good for them. They did it. And <laughs> we, we did our own, them. we did our own sports that day. We did archery. Yeah. That's when we went to the archery. Yeah. So and that's again, yeah. That's, that's when that was when, some private time. Yeah, and I loved it. Uh, we didn't really get a chance to do it in 2018, so like, yeah. that, I think that was on our was, list of like things yeah. that we knew would be interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We loved it. We did um, a little bit in 2018. I don't remember doing. I did it like I once it. doing in the mm-hmm. tournament because I remember it made us stink about our points. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Vera, Vera, but we were. No, it was really fun. Competitiveness. I would take up archery. You it, should. Really I'm telling good, you, yeah. you have yeah. natural talent. I will. And I'm going to go yeah. to the Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to do what Gina Davis Can never Can you imagine if that was your origin story? Well, I went to Zenight Retreat and I found <laughs> that I had a natural talent for archery. And now I'm at the Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be great. Um, yeah, I loved it. Um, I My fingers, like we didn't have any of the accoutrements that, you know, you need, like the arm thing. Yeah, it was just it and was the, the glove camp. thing. The gloves yeah. No, like, helpful. I mean, yeah. And uh, I... I enjoyed it so much. I didn't even care that like my fingers were like blistered for oh like God. a week. <laughs> my, what? Mine did not do that. Oh, I went hard. Huh. I loved it. I loved it so much. Maybe you didn't need to do that. Yeah, I did. I needed to. I kept going. <laughs> I was like, I need to do more archery. It was really, really fun. Uh, after our archery sesh, uh, I think it was time for kind of like everybody to gather and like just the 
the the sort of almost like wrap up of like Xenet Retreat was starting to happen where mm-hmm. everybody, you know, like you had the introduction of Team Awesome, like from Penny, Penny's like speeches. Oh, by the way, there was an amazing moment where Penny got a baseball uh, signed by Penny Marshall that they, she was gifted. Yeah, that was because so Because A League of Their Own, we just keep talking about it. <laughs> Everybody loves A League of Their yeah, Own. Yeah, it was so it was so nice. Um, we didn't really mention this time that Penny runs retreat, if you don't yes. know. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Penny Kavanaugh <laughs> is uh, the, the lord and savior of, of retreat. And Team Awesome is the name of the kind of the collective helpers. helpers, the volunteers who yeah. make retreat such they, a great they, place. Everything's color-coded, and they, they wear maroon, and they're awesome. And uh, They worked so hard. They worked so hard, and they always do, but, like, extra, this year extra because it was fewer of them. And, 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 and so they, many more yeah, campers. Yeah, so many more campers. So, like, they were all over the place and, like, literally running around. Um, so they do, they do guys' work, so... Uh, <laughs> we, we love them. And, um, you know, they, they were introduced in the thing. Everybody clapped. Yeah, yeah, so good. Um, and then... And then they, <laughs> I love you they, acting it out. <laughs> and then the important things. The awards. The awards. <laughs> we only did it for awards. Yeah, that's right. Um, so, yeah, there were various, you know, awards for, like, spirit and, like, awesome people just being awesome and, and helping and whatnot. And then... It really feels like... Like, I just, like, my heart was, like, swollen by the end because it was just, like, such a... You felt like everybody, like, was just coming together in this really nice Mm -hmm. way and, like, acknowledging how amazing the experience had been. And, like, yeah, and shouting out people who maybe, like, didn't expect, like, you know, that they'd been noticed. And, like, giving them, you know, shining a light on them. Mm -hmm. And, like, that was really cool. Yeah, it was really neat. Um, So there were... uh, Big awards, like, for the sports, uh, which the Cutthroats won, and we were so happy because they won a big thing. And then the the Warriors won the creative, uh, the big creative award because um, they had, like, a bazillion people in the costume contest. Yeah, uh, they dominated the costume <laughs> contest. Props. Yeah. Um, but speaking of creativity, I didn't mention the music video contest, which um, had some pop and vids uh, this yes. year. Hmm. So congrats. An unbiased opinion. An unbiased about opinion. Yes. <laughs> it was a pretty stacked year, I have to say. One, some of my favorite vidders were um, participating, and I'm not talking about me. <laughs> I'm really not. Um, so we had an amazing vid by, by Jess and uh, Frey, and, and they both won, and it was, yes. it was awesome. I did not enter. Oh, next time. <laughs> <It's> true. <laughs> um, also, one of our favorite bidders. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I know. Everyone's bids were amazing. Yeah, Whoa. seriously. It, it was really great. And, and, there, cause the, and lunch- the, the crowd response was yeah, incredible. Super, really super fun. They screened them during lunch. And I have a feeling people just like did not eat because they were it's just hard like, to eat. oh yeah. my yeah. god. Yeah, these that was me. Yeah. I was like I was like that. I was like, oh I can't eat right now. I gotta watch it all. Yeah. Um and the lunches were like split so you could hear them mm. played in the other you know <laughs> yeah. section. As a as a social yeah. social distancing measure. They had two lunch breaks like yeah. for different sets of people and yeah. It was really yeah was double just... the vidding. Yeah so uh congrats to all the winners. Um I mean, I was one of them, but <laughs> congrats <laughs> to you, Vera. Your bid so was also good. It was also there. Um, <laughs> uh, so that's you know, speaking of the creativity, that's all. Um, but like, yeah. So the main award, I would say, was I was like, oh my god, it fucking better be, and the it was the Spirit Award. Was it the Spirit Award? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's oh, because it's the Spirit Nation of Spirit. right, right, yeah. yes. Um, yeah, the nation spirit. Which is a combination of cabin decoration and just vibes. And participation, probably. And probably <laughs> participation, yeah. Because we worked really hard on that, that one. That goes under the umbrella of vibes. <laughs> yeah. But in music videos, I mean, two two of our immortal videos got us points. So yes, yeah, for sure. So, yeah, for sure. I love sure. those points. Yeah, and it, and it fucking worked this time because guess what, bitches? Bow down. We were number one. Immortals number one. Which obviously is amazing for a new nation. Yeah, no, I mean, to it, was, award, it was, you know, amazing. to be cohesive enough to, yeah, like, to do that. I mean, we tried and we brought it and uh, it paid off. Yeah. Yeah. So shout out to all yeah. of our immortals. <laughs> Yay, immortals. Yeah. Woohoo! 
Um, so yeah, that was the 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 awards, and and um, after that there was well after dinner and whatever, but like uh, uh, oh there was like the charities and stuff. Um, that happened. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, the auction. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah. and then and then the, the main event, the big dance, which this year was. Married with Fish Sticks theme. Yes. Yeah, so obviously we were very excited. We were so excited. I uh, was calling it <laughs> the enchantment under the sea dance. It's a good, yes. good reference. Because you walked in and you were so like under the ocean with yeah. the lights. Yeah. But then they it was had very dark. an amazing, <laughs> a fucking unreal baby row disco ball. Which is a thing I wish I owned. <laughs> I mean, honestly. truly. So <laughs> there was a funny moment where before that we were like, I don't know, walking around to our cabin and whatnot. And you pass the, the area where the dance was going to be. And the baby row was being like unloaded. Yeah, we got a little spoiled. And uh, we saw it. We was saw, we saw we the baby row. We, our jaws dropped, and Liv was like, it's like seeing a celebrity. <laughs> yeah. <Fantastic. laughs> I definitely nerded out to the baby the row. The baby row was amazing. There were multiple baby rows, per, you know, throughout the dance. Um, Jody had an amazing oh, yes. baby row. Really? That was like. She really captured the face. Yeah. Like the demented face. It was well. so good. I just, I, I love that people really kind of like went all out for this. Um, there was an actual mermaid there. As there was well. also a mermaid <laughs> hired to be there. Hired yeah, to be there. good for her. Um, but yeah, uh, so everybody was like in their you know lay and and Hawaiian shirts and just you know various costumes. Um, I felt like I was at the beach. Yeah, exactly. Except it was like fifty Cold. degrees. <laughs> <laughs> so I yeah, spent most of it at the fire pit. Yes, the fire pit thankfully was on <laughs> for your needs of warming up. Uh, I, I originally was like, oh, I'm going to wear my Hawaiian shirt and then like whatever. And then it was like, okay, it's going to be so cold. I better have some kind of different outfit. So I decided to be, um, what is it, Hagar at his wedding. <laughs> so I was like, okay, cool. Like a, a, a white blazer and Bermuda shorts. That'll, that'll keep me warm, which it did. So yeah. Well done. Um, yeah, everybody had a really great time at the dance. Like lots of like fun Fun, uh, circ- you know, like when you line up and then people the do like funny dances. Line. Yeah. yeah. And, um, just various, you know, hilarious you could shenanigans. Do a conga line, but no zag zag. Yeah. Right? Suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Justice for zag zag. I know. Um, I'm sure we'll see the return of zag zag at some point because it's so zagging popular. Uh, various. Um, Lap dance shenanigans. Just at one point, we were doing. <laughs> there a, is a zag zag. It was just at the dance. Yeah, yeah. Which there we was no say balloon. Was not, involved. It was moved. The dance usually is where you eat dinner. Yes, um, but it was moved to a different space so that all the windows could be like flown open. Yeah, and, um, and yeah. it was like an inside outside. The space where usually you can watch Zena twenty four seven. Right, <laughs> if you wanted to. Um, so yeah, so like all the windows were open and all that stuff. Yeah. Under. Yeah, at one point there was like a, a push up uh, contest. I don't even know what. <laughs> like, at, at that point, it was like. And then hey. after that, Colbanio still raged. Oh, <laughs> once, boy. once they oh, uh, yeah. closed down the dance, which did kind of go on oh, yeah. quite late. <laughs> yeah. So, um, that time we did make it to Club Banya. We looked at it and then we were like, okay, we're we were like, this is officially oh, when it's too much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you went to be way I just needed anyway. to like clap eyes on Club Banya. <laughs> that for me was enough. Yeah. yeah. It was like being set up a little bit. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean, that was uh, kind of like hot. The, the dance was pretty, pretty rocking. Um, we considered being our shark onesies, but <laughs> we didn't do it. That would have about it. Yeah. Yeah. it. It probably would have been a hit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to we, go we along just with did, our cow onesies. Yeah, we were yeah, cow onesies previous. last time. We just yeah. didn't want to repeat ourselves. Yeah. So uh, it was it was a really a, a big smash, I think. It was mm-hmm. a success. Yeah. And thank you for, uh, thank you, Penny, for including Married with Fish Sticks. Yes. Just for us. I say that was. Our that was a shout out to us. Oh, I think so. I think so. Because <laughs> we yelled about it being so good all the yep. time. It's and true. It I had a great time. I, so I think it makes a great <laughs> dance party. Take, Whatever you did, think yeah. about it. Yeah, Mary. it did. And people <laughs> like really got with the theme. So, the theme like, is fun. It's yeah. a great aesthetic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, that was like kind of like the main sort of, you know, the, that was the weekend really. I mean, on Monday it was like, 
holy shit, you got to pack if you're like me where you have to immediately like repack everything and like worry about a bus leaving you behind because you're still packing, um, take down all the decorations, you know, like all that kind of business. But then there were like you received love notes. That was a thing this year. Like pre- previously, like you could, I think, um, say think? nice things yeah. for points. And and of course, like, you know, I love a point incentive. Yeah. But um but they decided the same yeah. the doing and saying nice things for points kind of defeated the purpose of yeah. doing and saying nice things. Yeah. So this year it was much more just like if if you had a message for someone, if somebody did something that impressed you or just, you know, you you know, wa- wanted to hype someone up, yeah, like yeah. You, you could pay a special visit to the love notes and yeah. yeah. It was a tr- like a tree at one point, but yeah. then there was so many By that the they stopped. By the time we got there, the tree had already kind of just become a giant blob, <laughs> a blob of notes. The yeah. love leaves, that was their, yeah, love their leaves, official name. Right. They were yeah. the leaves on the tree. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, each nation had their own kind of like color-coded um, version of these notes, and, and you can write them for like anyone. Um so, I mean, so yeah, just word to the wise if you're at Z Night Retreat and you're like, ooh, like love leaves, make sure you hit that early or uh, continuously. Yeah, I was thinking, yeah, that literally, like, next time I'm gonna pay a visit like every evening and, like, you know, just kind of like yeah. while, while things are fresh in my mind and mm-hmm. like leave yeah. people notes because, like, it was that's a really good idea, really hard on the last day to kind of like reconstruct like that entire weekend, which goes by so fast. Yeah, and then like once you because st- if you're like okay, I'll just write a few or whatever. Once you get going, you're like, oh no, I want to so write more. People. I so want to write people. more. You, you kind of just like want to do it. Yeah. And it was a really like like it a, was so a nice. new feature that I think is going to be uh, super yeah, popular. Totally. I mean, I think it was popular. And I think yeah. it's going to remain, and I think it's a great idea. Um, so yeah, so uh, we wrote our our love leaves, and and we received so many amazing ones from you guys. Um, and yeah, we just kind of like want to, like we mentioned how we ran into a bunch of listeners and you guys like really filled it, you know, you, you fill our hearts with, uh, with your kind words. And we just wanted to like shout out like all the, all the names that, you know, <laughs> we had experiences with you guys. Okay. So bird, we, we met, we, bird. we got to dance with you bird. Uh, got to more than dance with you bird. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Jess, um, Frey, you rock. Uh, Oot, Mikey. Mikey had us do a, a meme photo, which was like, we needed that explained, but it, it was awesome. It was really fun. <laughs> oh, God. Um, Ariel, we mentioned Rita. It was really great. It was, it was amazing great meeting, meeting Rita. Rita. Yeah. Who came so, from so far away to be there. And like, yeah, props to you, Rita. Yeah. Rebecca, who came up to us at Howl at the Moon, which I was just super impressed by because I was like, oh, my God, you're howling at the moon. Why are you talking to me about the podcast? Go howl. (laughs) (laughs) So good. Uh, Amanda, thank you for saying hi. Oh, by the way, there was like a a million Amandas and a million Jesses. It's so so. so funny. (laughs) Amanda, you know who you are. (laughs) Uh, Joey. Yes. Joey, I mean, obviously... We know you love the podcast, and and thank you for that. But we want to talk to you specifically about the amazing uh, Shabbat service, like really quick, like little uh, Shabbat service that happened on Friday night. Um, It was very special, and I think like the kind of ruggedness of it made it like even more special. It was like a a true highlight for me personally. Um, we were told that this happened in previous years and we were so lucky to participate in it. Um, and there were, you know, Jewish people there and then there were non Jewish people who were like supporting us. And it was really, it was really, really lovely. Um, like a quick little service over matzah. It was awesome. Yeah. It was definitely one of my like favorite experiences. There, yeah. It was just so unexpected yeah. and it shows just like, yeah, like, you, you know, anything can happen at the yeah. night retreat. Like you bring yourself, you bring, like your faith you bring who you are and there's such acceptance and joy in that yeah it, it was I like I literally cried it was just so unexpectedly I don't know emotional just to have that and like I don't even know if the room was like there was like stuff all over it yeah, it was, was like just, the green room which is yeah. definitely like kind of like <laughs> the area in the back that no one's supposed to see but it was just like awesome that way I don't know it, it was an impromptu amazing kind of like moment that really 
will be special forever for us. So thank you, Jerry. Um, and then Mara, and we mentioned, and of course, T, who we love T. Um, yeah, T. So we're we're very we're very happy. And again, most of the people on this list um, were first timers to Zenet Retreat, and it was just so amazing to see them doing it. You know? <laughs> like. Like yeah. having a great time and and opening themselves up to it and yeah, and yeah we were just so inspired by you and and like mm-hmm. I said it's just an honor really yeah and it was amazing to to meet you guys and it was amazing to receive um you know your your amazing love notes or love leaves I should say and there were just some truly truly special and and extremely important ones that you know we received and we thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Yeah, that. and just a brief note to say, like we we were so overwhelmed by this yes. response. I don't think we were what, expecting it to mm-hmm. like have so many people want to talk to us at Zenet Retreat about the podcast. Like I said, we were we were there being like we're we're just campers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, so like this was like amazing and just like so heartwarming. But yeah, at times I felt so overwhelmed. So like. Like, if we haven't mentioned your name, we love you, too. Yeah, like, and thank you for talking to yeah, us. Yeah, thank you for coming to talk to us. Sometimes we were just like, ah, person, <laughs> well, wow. whole thing is, like, we put our face online so rarely that I don't understand how anybody knows what we look like <laughs> <laughs> to come up they to all say anything. They, hear, they just hear your chocolatey voice. Oh, yeah, thank you. Right. Yeah. <laughs> they, they know. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm like, well, how do they know who's me? <laughs> but no, I mean, yeah, like, just... Oh, God. Yeah, I'm just so impressed and, <laughs> yeah. and amazed to have all of you as listeners. Even yeah. those of you who didn't come up to us and see yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. You're great, too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I think I mentioned that um, there was a many Amandas uh, at, at retreat this year. And um, I just want to quickly shout out uh, my Amanda, Amanda Urrego. Her first retreat was in 2017. She came as one of these like solo, um, solo virgins at that at the time. And she quickly just like became part of the retreat fam, really. And uh, in, you know, she talked it up to us and we went in 2018. And then yeah, um, she's really responsible in many ways for us going. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Um, in 2019, I think she was one of the founding members of Club Banyo, so that you know that's like you're up there <laughs> when that her baby <laughs> so um i just wanted to uh say that this year she stepped up and became one of team awesome and i'm just so proud of her and um she did the trivia on the bus and then i think also wrangled everybody on the bus to renee o'connor which we, we didn't mention but on monday everybody went to see renee o'connor's play romeo and juliet and uh, had like various meet and greets. Uh, we didn't go, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> we but, were tired. Yeah, we needed a uh, rest day after retreat. But um, but from all the photos that we saw, everybody had amazing time and looked really great with Renee. Yeah, and it seems like Renee was like having a lot of fun. Yeah, who knows? Maybe in the future she'll be a, <laughs> a retreat attendee. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. <laughs> She's very busy. Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> Um, Amanda, you're amazing, and I forgive you for losing your phone and making me miss some of the <laughs> some of the musical there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think that like wraps up our yeah. our sort of experience at yeah. Zenite Retreat 2022. We also went to the Academy. Oh Museum. my God! Yes, well, that was just our vacation. Oh my God, our vacation in, in Burbank. <laughs> <laughs> was that pre, that was pre or no post pre retreat pre retreat pre retreat? We went to Disneyland with a big yes. group of Zenites. Yeah, that was it also was really fun. Great fun. I bought a salacious crumb who sat on my shoulder. Oh my god! Good. And then a guy came and was like, like he was like on a scooter and he had a salacious crumb there and he like, like he he went past and then he kind of backed. He was like, Aah! well, no, not, not because of like I just like pointed at him and said salacious crumb and he oh, was so shit. impressed that I just knew okay, the yeah. Name, well, he like screeched, stopped, crumb, backed which, up. To me, that doesn't seem that impressive. But he was very <laughs> impressed. Well, because he was like, what is this youth <laughs> knowing salacious? Knowing salacious. I was like, yeah. everyone knows salacious. He's know. famous. Yeah, he is. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, good times. Good times with Salacious Grove <laughs> and the Z-Night said uh, at Disneyland. But, yeah, Academy War Museum was also really, really fun. Yeah, I like I mean, that's like a mecca if you love yeah. film, and especially if you love the Oscars, if you yeah. grew up watching the Oscars, as we did. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, very entertaining place. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it was neat. I think it's like getting going because it's like brand new. It's like from like it I'm just sure opened. I'm sure there's, if you live in LA and are part of the biz, I'm sure there's all kinds of like 
There's events there. Well, I just mean like the existence of the museum. I'm sure. Oh yeah. But like I, I had fun. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Totally. We're pretty easily entertained by that kind of thing. Yeah, one of my favorites was like uh, they had like um, an industry specific pins that were like so in the gift shop. specific. They Your were really the specific. Gift shop. Yeah, the gift shop was really great. <laughs> for those of you in the know, they had pins specifically for C47s, which I thought was just really deeply funny. Wow. I didn't like buy gaff one tape, like it seems stupid, but yeah, who wouldn't want a gaff tape pin? Like it was just so specific for your part of the industry. They could have done a little bit more for editing, I should say. That's um, true. They, they didn't have that much. Like, maybe yeah, still yeah. Out. But, you know, yeah, maybe. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, all right. So, I mean, I guess that wraps it up. I mean, we had a, we had an amazing time. We loved meeting you guys. Um, yeah, it was just, it was one awesome, you know, from the pre-treat on Thursday to all the way to the sleepy bus ride <laughs> back on Monday. It was just, it was amazing time. And I'm, I'm so glad that a retreat is back. Yeah. So final plug, if, if you're listening and you're like, oh, I've, you know, I've looked at the website, I've thought about it, I've listened to the podcast, girls go on about it, mm-hmm. but I don't know if it's really for me. It is for you. It's for everybody. Yeah, like it totally. is an amazing time there. Yeah. And you can do it at your own speed. Mm-hmm. And everybody there is just like so nice. And like, yeah. Yeah, it's it's and, really like yeah. when you leave that bubble and return to the world, it is like such a shock because mm-hmm. you're just like, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's true, it's true. Um, and, and you can go solo, so many solo people and they get friends just from, from being there. And, uh, and, and if you need a, a vacation from your family, like leave those kids behind. You get a great vacation talking about Xena <laughs> with some some soon to be friends that you haven't you know met yet. Uh, at Zena, oh yeah! Shout out to Oot who said yeah, they were like, on vacation from it. their family. I loved it, I loved I it so much. Respected that, Oot. <laughs> so great! Oh, thank you, everyone, um, for for listening and for talking to us. And oh my goodness, follow us on all the stuff and things. Oh yeah, where that's me. We're on- <laughs> Uh, the internet scenewarepodcast.com you can find links to everything you can listen to us literally everywhere you can write reviews and leave stars ratings and stuff like that on Apple Podcasts but yeah listen to it wherever you want um, we are on Twitter at Pod, and we are on Patreon uh, patreon.com slash Podcast. the power the passion the, the podcast the power.